everyone. Um, before this Color CL contact lens try on, I am going to just uh, give you guys a little bit of a, an update. Just have something else to talk about for you guys to look forward to or not um, instead of just the try on. So um, I've got eight pairs here that I am going to be trying on. But first, um, let me fill you in on some stuff. So I might have talked about this before, but I'm not really sure because I don't really remember everything that I've said. But um, Josh and I are about to move. Like we are super, super stoked. I've got a truck booked and everything. We're just waiting for the stimulus, which hopefully will come any day now. And then we're going to get out of this place. I see like I know I've made a video about this, but I don't know if I've uploaded it or not. So um, if this is a repeat of any information I've already put out there, I apologize. Um, but you know, when, when Josh and I first moved in here, we thought we're going to own our own home. We did a great thing. You know, we're, we're being smart and thinking about the future. We're going to own this place, the lot in the back, cause it's a double lot. We're going to put another trailer there. We're going to rent out both places. We're going to be landlords and we're going to move to the city and just have a better life, you know? Um, and then when we came here, you know, we ripped up all the floors, we replaced all the floors, um, painted the walls, fixed the counters. I mean, we bought new sinks. We did close to $10,000 worth of, you know, fixing of this place. And then, um, <clears throat> the septic tank broke and, uh, we called a plumber out and it turned out that, um, in the entire 15 years, the previous owner lived here, he never pumped the tank. And it overflowed. And so basically we had 15 years of somebody else's um, shit all over the yard. And that was really foul. And we were not prepared for that expense. I mean, we, I know you're supposed to be prepared for things when you're a homeowner or whatever, but we just, we weren't, you know, first time homeowner, homeowners don't know what the hell we're doing. And um, I think this is during the time that we lost our car and we just started falling really behind and everything. And so we asked the man, you know, could we please take one month's payment to fix the septic tank and then we'll catch it up, you know? And, um, he got mad at us for some reason. And, uh, instead of just working with us or just flat out saying no, he kept us holding on and holding on and holding on. And what? Oh, he's talking to his game. Um, and then, um, we were, I guess he resented us for asking, which is really stupid because it wasn't a huge request. We didn't bother him. We asked him once and we submitted it in writing just so we'd have a paper trail. And, um, we sent out a couple of payments and they came back to us. They rejected the payments. Next thing I know, he took us to court saying that we, for non-payment of rent, but we're not paying rent. We're homeowners or whatever. And so it, it didn't count as rent and he couldn't kick us out. So it was thrown out of court. He was told that essentially, um, he'd have to take us to foreclosure court, which would cost a lot of money. And then, um, all they do is just give us time to catch up and it would just be thrown out of court. So really he'd be out all that money anyway. And, uh, it was just, that was the start of it. And then next thing you know, he, um, we found out that he had asked our neighbors to spy on us, keep an eye on everything we were doing, which is just rude. Like, it, it's just rude and it's wrong. And then, um, he went to the water department here and he was trying to spy on us through the water department and finding out about our bills, if we were behind on anything and all this stuff. And they told him, you know, in no uncertain terms, it's none of your business. You don't live there. That's their property. He also keeps telling everybody he still lives here and, uh, he uses this address for his social security and things like that and, um, collects a higher payout than he would if he claimed where he was actually living. And, um, nothing's been done about that either. Um, so it's just, it, it's just a lot of like negative feeling in this area. We don't really feel safe or welcome. We don't feel like this is our place. You know, every move we make is being watched and, you know, the people that work around here, nobody wants to do their job. Like the, the water department, um, they're only open maybe two or three days a week and, they're open from like nine to 12 and then from two to four. And even then they might not be in the office. You can't get a hold of them. You can't pay your bill online. You can't pay your bill with a card. You can't check your bill online. You can't do it over the phone. So you have to hope that you catch them in the office. And if you don't, they'll cut you off. If you owe because they haven't sent you a bill and you can't get a hold of them because they're not in the office, they'll cut you off. 
and it just gets really aggravating because we've been cut off it gets aggravating and very scary when you're like waiting for a bill to come in and if it doesn't come in and you lose track of time you can't reach them especially with the covid and holidays they're like on every damn holiday and you go to the office and you complain to them and they're like oh that's what everybody says but they won't change anything so it's just it's just really frustrating for us and you know there's no opportunities here really everything's so far away and it, it's lonely it's really lonely and um, we have met some really good people, but they don't live like close, close to us. And, um, you know, we need to think about our, our own lives and our futures. And we're going to be moving with some family members and um, hopefully have like a really good life or everything we thought we were going to have here. Um, they live by a forest, so we're going to be able to take pictures. Josh and I are going to have pictures together. Um, I'm going to be able to take more pictures, finally, full body pictures, because I'll have a background and somewhere to do it. I'm going to take lots of pictures of him. Hopefully, you know, when we go sightseeing and things like that, um, I'll be able to um, video and vlog because I, I won't really care if people know where I live then. Sorry, my hair is all munched up. I won't really care if people know where I live once I'm there because I'll feel protected because the person we're staying with has got lots of guns and we won't be alone you know we'll be in a house full of other people and it's just going to be a better and different environment for us and um I want to be able to share stuff again like look we're here look we're here we're checking this out we're checking this out and I mean it, it'll be a lot of fun just to add better content to my channel like what's been lacking for a really long time everything we started doing before we got spied on again and just felt unsafe in general um what else? Um, I'm also, I've got some ideas for some videos I want to do, uh, makeup videos. I mean, I know I blow chunks at makeup, but I want to do some, like I've got some videos saved where they show you how to like make your eyes look bigger and how to make uneven eyes look even and how to contour your face to make it look skinny, contour your nose to make it look thinner, fake a nose job. And I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to do some of those tutorials on a video or in a video to see like if I can do it because I probably can't because I am not good with makeup but it'll be fun to just try something different like that once we move and um yeah so that's all as far as that goes um I also wanted to say that uh um I wasn't going to talk about this but I decided I want to just because it's been in my head and um I am I'm just really really happy and relieved and I just feel like a huge weight has been lifted off of my shoulders so I'm I'm just gonna mention it but um those who have known me for a really long time know that I have had an online feud with somebody for years like years and years and years and years of my life like since maybe 2011 ish and um it's come and gone. It was really bad for a time and then it kind of faded away, but it's always kind of been in the background. Even if it wasn't an active feud, just the fact that people wanted us to fight and, you know, they'd run to me. Uh, what the hell? They'd run to me or they'd run to the other person and they'd tell stories and just try to cause drama and they usually succeeded. And I don't know. It, it's just been like this thing hanging over my head for a really long time not just my head my head and their head and uh to where like sorry <laughs> if somebody followed me um and followed them I wouldn't trust that person I'd be like nope you know you follow this other person people don't like both of us they like one of us or the other so if you're here and you're a fan of them you're here to spy on me or start trouble so I'm gonna block you and this, the other person would do the same thing and it really sucks to have to go around mistrusting your followers because you don't know if they're there to dig or to start trouble, which at least 50% of the time they were. And, um, the other person's told me that and I know that as well. Um, so there was a, a bit of drama that happened with someone that was a follower of both of ours. And this girl, <laughs> um, she commented on one of my videos and it was kind of like a rude comment. She said something like, um, who cares? Nobody even cares or something like that. And I was like, well, I wrote to her privately after I deleted the comment and I said, you know, if you don't care, then why comment? I mean, it seems like a, 
a, a negative comment for absolutely no reason. I mean, would you have gone to this other person and commented like that on their videos? I mean, why do you think it's okay to come to me and be rude to me for no reason? You know, it's, it's like people seem to think that it's okay to be rude to me, whereas they normally wouldn't be rude to others. And I was just really frustrated that day. And I was like, why, why do you think it's okay to say that to me? You know, I mean, it's not an over the top comment, but it's, it's something that you could have just easily kept to yourself. And she blew up and she was like, well, that person's my best friend and I'm, I'm friends with her family and her whole family and blah, 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 blah. And this and this and that. And I, you know, she's like, block me, bitch. You know, and she started cussing me out and I, I let her have it too. And I blocked her and she ran right to the other person and told them all kinds of shit. So when this other person woke up, they woke up to like a in a box full of this hysterical girl saying that I was talking all kinds of shit. And I was, I think she said that I was jealous and I was this and I was that. And that's not even what it was. You know, there was some lingering anger there because there was a lot of unresolved shit between me and the other person. And so, you know, I let, I let some of that out, you know, in the message because I just, I just don't understand why some people, you know, naturally get treated better than others um from people who don't know either person you know like what makes me down here and somebody else up here if you don't know me or the other person why can't i be treated equally you know and um i know some people will say because i'm i'm this i'm this I'm, this, I'm i don't care about any of that i'm just saying like in in general people that don't know me and that don't know the other person just from watching our videos where I, I haven't really caused any trauma or done anything. Why can't I just be treated like a normal human being? Um, why is it okay just to be rude? You know, and it, it just, for some reason that day, it just really fed me up. And so this person came to me and was like, well, you know what? Sorry, my legs hurt. They were like, you know, I woke up and I got these messages from this girl. And, you know, she said you were saying this and this and this and that. And, you know, I thought that we were cool. What's going on? And I was like, well, you know, there, there is some unresolved stuff here. Cause the last conversation we had, I didn't really like the way it ended. And, you know, there's been some resentment there and just, you know, and I, I was open and honest and they suggested, um, we do a video call. So we did, and it was great. I mean, we talked for a, a long time <laughs> and we were open with each other. We got we got everything off our chest. We were honest with each other about how we felt and how things were. And, um, at the end of it, it was, it was bittersweet cause it was like a breakup. You know, we, we promised to stay out of each other's lives and just, you know, and we both know that if we had met differently, we could have become friends because we do have a lot in common as far as like our look and the things that we're interested in and stuff. And I mean, it's just a pity that sometimes things happen in a way to where like friendships or whatever stop before they even get a chance to start. And we've got so much history with each other without even knowing each other that any chance for like a trusting open friendship just can't be there because there's been so much shit and so much pressure from outside forces trying to make us hate each other and fight. But we did end on good terms. We did say, you know, our sorries and our, you know, our goodbyes and wish you well for the future and things like that. And, um, it was a really good clarifying talk. And yesterday I was taking a bath and I, you know, I was watching stuff and that video came up, their video, one of their videos, and they mentioned it. And, um, I was quite shocked because the entire time we've had this feud, unless it was something negative, they have never talked about me or talked about like the feud or just acknowledged anything they they've kind of just stayed away from the whole topic and um i had mentioned that i kind of felt like that did more harm than good because when we were trying to end it nobody else knew we were ending it and so the outside forces were still trying to make us fight thinking that you know we were still enemies whereas when one mention could have possibly cleared the air and just let people know that no we don't have an issue with each other but they have their own reasons for doing stuff and they, and they did, but this time they didn't mention my name, but mentioned kind of the situation that we cleared the air. And, um, I was very, very proud of them to, to hear that. And, um, <clears throat> I, I felt really like, wow, that, that was really nice to hear. And, um, I just, I really, truly feel this time that the feud, 
the feud is over. You know, they've never mentioned anything before. They mentioned it this time. We had our first and only face-to-face -face chat and got to just let everything out human to human instead of writing and writing. And every little bit of remaining resentment or anger, hatred I, that I was feeling, I don't feel that anymore. And I actually feel like this, this year's long burden is gone. And the only, you know, the, the biggest regret is that, um, we, we never did have a chance to become friends, you know, because I think that we're both good people, um, that were just pushed due to the circumstances and we showed our ugliest sides to each other. And, um, it didn't need to be like that, but it, I mean, it was, I mean, we're, we're both different people now. Um, but you can't erase the past and we can't take back what we've done to each other. We could just move on and just have a truce and just hope that, um, other people stay the hell out of our lives and stop trying to push and push and push because, um, I don't want to hear it and I know they don't want to hear it. And, um, there's nothing there to keep pushing for. And I just don't understand the need for people to just want to see fights and want to see arguments instead of just leaving people alone, you know, but um, I just felt like mentioning it because they mentioned it. So I felt like it was okay to mention my side of it, you know, without giving away too many details for those that don't know. And those that do know, will probably be happy to hear, you know, I guess. But, um, yeah, so that, that's that. And, um, that's just a, a chunk of negativity that is now not there. And, and, um, it just seems like everything right now is kind of lining up for the better and I can finally feel like you know just maybe I can finally be happy <laughs> things will happen and you know no offense to Josh or anything but our life is uh not that good and it's not because of us it's because you know money problems the economy uh COVID and you know family stuff and you know all that but um hopefully now things will line up so we can actually have the life that we had hoped to have and we can you know have friends and we can be a bit more free and just be happy. Right, Josh? What? It's about time we finally get to be happy, right? Oh, yes, yes. Have like a, a better life and yeah. get to go out and experience things and yep. take some pictures of your sexy self. Your sexy self. Your sexy self. Okay, your sexy self. <laughs> um, which, by the way, in, uh, what is this, March? In three months, we'll have been together four years. Four years already. Jeez, I don't know where the time is gone. It is crazy. It's, it's like his longest relationship. So that's awesome. And it's only like two years away from my longest. You think you're going to beat it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to cut this off. Um, since this is so long, I might actually just make two videos. So the other video is going to be the contact lenses. And um, I'm thinking about doing the lens videos in a different way. So let me know what you guys think. So I told you my hair is still really thin on the top. So it's really long, but on the top, it's just not thick at all. So it's just, it's really annoying. Um, but I think I would really like to know, and I'm going to repeat this in the next video as well. Do you guys want a, a video where I show the context and I talk about the color um, or one where I just get up close and I have the name of the color and I'm just like, mm, and I don't say anything because I know that some contact lens videos are like that where they just show a close up of the contact with the name of it, some music and the video, the whole video is like two minutes long. Do you prefer that or do you prefer actually hearing what the color is, what it looks like? what I think of it compared to other contacts. I mean, I would really like to know, so let me know and I will meet you on the contact video.